Hi kids, this is Lindsay. It's Monday and this is grade three. And today we want to look at our grammar friends. So take out your grammar friends and turn to page 64. The other day I was a little confused about the pages we want to use. Today we want to go back and look at unit 13. Unit 13 is pretty easy for you, but let's review it and we'll talk about it. If you have already written page 64 and 65 and 66, great, no problem. If I go too fast, then just click stop and you can write the answer or check your answer. Today we're going to do something a little different too. I have noticed some of you are not watching all of the video. That's a problem. I need you to watch all of the video. So we're going to make the videos a little shorter, about 23 minutes now, not 30. So it's easier for you. So about 20, 23 minutes. But also I'm going to ask questions in my video. And I want you to go to the video comments at the bottom and type the answer. Not everybody. For example, I will say, Iris, please answer this question. And Iris has to write the answer in the comments. If you don't watch all of the video, maybe you don't hear me say your name. Maybe I will say your name twice. So you need to watch all of the video so that you can see if I asked you a question. When I ask you a question, you can write the answer down and then later go back to the comments and you have to type the answer in the comments when you check into the video. That way I know you watched all of the video and it will also help you practice your typing and we'll see if your English answer is correct or not. Also, after you write the answer, I will check your answers. If I write thumbs up, no problem, you're good. But if I write thumbs down, your answer is wrong. So you need to check your answer again. I'm not going to tell you why it's wrong. You fix the answer. Maybe the spelling is wrong. Maybe the grammar is wrong. You go back and look at it, okay? All right, so listen for my questions. Sometimes I'll ask your name, but sometimes I forget some people in the class, you know me, I'm an old man, so I'll just say the number. Like, for example, I'll say number six and ask a question, okay? All right, so let's start. Please open your grammar friends to page 64, unit 13, party time. Woohoo, party time. All right, let's read it at the top. Charlie, Molly, and Harry played games at the party. They didn't watch TV. Of course, you shouldn't watch TV at a party. You should talk to your friends and have fun, and, you know, eat something, right? Don't watch TV. All right, let's look at this. Generally, we add ED to the end of the base form to form the past simple of regular verbs. Blah, blah, blah. What does that mean? That means that usually, generally, often, we don't need to think of the verb like eat, ate. We can just write ed, played, p-l-a-y-e-d, start, started. Now, of course, you know, some verbs are difficult, like go and went, buy and bought. But generally, past tense verbs are easy. They're ed. All right. The pronunciation is not always easy. Sometimes it's played, a da da da, but sometimes it's, for example, um, let me think of uh, wanted. Sometimes it's tid, and sometimes it's t, like baked. So you have to listen. Did I say da, tid, or t? It's not easy to remember that. You will learn it. It just takes time. So let's look at those verbs. I waited. <clears throat> All of these are weighted on that list. But look what happens when you write, 
I did not wait. No ED. And I didn't wait. So you won't have a problem. This is quite easy for you. So we know that. So we can jump all the way to page 65 at the top. And I think you probably already wrote these. Oh my God, this is so easy. Because you just need to write the D or the ED. Now, if it already has an E, you don't write E twice. Of course, you know. So let's read these words. I'll give you time to read them after me. So you say the word after me. So, watched. Loved. Started. Finished. Hated, lived, cooked, laughed, listened, worked. Now stop there for a minute. Okay, can you hear when I say t or d or tid? I'll help you with one. If the last letter of the word is T, like um, paint, P-A-I-N-T, and I add E-D. That T-E-D is going to be tid. So paint becomes painted. But listen to these other words. Watched, what's the last sound? T. Loved, what's the last sound? D. Started. That's easy, tit, right? But finished. Can you hear the T? Hey, tit, tit. Lived, D sound. Cooked, it's a T sound. Here's another hint. If the word has a K, like cook, usually, almost always, it will say t, like cooked. Okay? Slaff. It's also a T. Listened, it's a D. And worked. You know it's worked because that K make the, makes the T sound. Now, somebody asked me, how do I know if it's T or D? Well, I can't help you. If it has a K, usually it's T, like cooked. But words like listened, you just have to learn them. We will memorize the words. All right, I want to ask some questions. So, write these answers in your book, okay? No, 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 no. Write these answers on your head. No, 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 no. Write these answers on your underwear. No, no, no. Write this answer in the comments. Not everybody. Let's do none. Um, the first person. Let's do um, Ryan. You know, there are two Ryans. There's the Ryan who sits next to... Uh, Sam. Not that Ryan. We'll do him next. The other Ryan. I don't know his last name. The other Ryan sits in the middle of the class. This question is for you. Write it in your comments. And the question is, did you laugh when you saw your grade? Did you laugh when you saw your grade? And Charlie, here's a question for you. Did your mother cook dinner for you last night? Did your mother cook dinner for you last night? And here's a question for Amber. Both Ambers can write the answer here. Hmm. Did you hate doing your homework? Did you notice I wrote Dewey, D-O-I-N-G? Did you hate doing your homework? Now, Charlie and Ryan and Amber and Amber, all of the answers are yes. <laughs> so, when you write these, I want you to practice the past tense. So you have to write yes. One more question for, let's see, for who can I ask? Well, I'll just ask a number. I don't know who's number 20. I don't know who number 20 is. So I'll ask number 20 a question. Write it in the comma. Uh, 
did your mother work last week? Now, I need you to write yes. Did your mother work last week? And number 23, whoever number 23 is, hmm, did you start your homework yet? Did you start your homework yet? And remember, when you write the answer yes, you cannot write yet. Okay? So we're going to jump down, look at the next section, number two. Charlie played, Charlie, the book says Charlie. Charlie played the guitar. Say the word guitar. Number two, Molly and her friends listened to music. Number four, Mrs. This is Mrs. She's married. I know she's married because it says Mrs. Mrs. Jones cooked party food. Now, maybe you guys don't understand what party food is. Party food is food you can eat and stand up. For example, chicken wings. You know chicken wings? Some people will make lots of chicken wings, maybe spicy chicken wings, for the party. So at the party, people can stand up, use a little plate, and eat chicken wings. Maybe some other party food is popcorn. People can eat popcorn, maybe cupcakes. If you make cupcakes, then at the party, everybody can eat those cupcakes. Cupcakes, chicken wings, they are party food. Okay? Good. Grandpa laughed a lot. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones watched TV. There's something the book does I don't like. After Mrs., you should write a dot. M-R-S dot. And after Mr., you should write a dot. So help me. In the book, if you have a pen or pencil, I don't care. On number three, Mrs. write a dot. Mrs. dot space Jones. And for number five, Mr. dot, like a period, and then space Jones. Mr. Jones watched TV. Number six, Harry wanted a drink. Somebody said, could I write Harry drank a drink. Well, you could, but it's not one of the choices. And also, drank is not a regular, not an irregular, drink is not a regular verb. And right now, we're doing ED verbs. So, wanted a drink. Okay? Very good. So, let's ask these questions. Write the answers in the comment section. Number five. I don't know who you are. Number five. What did Molly and her friends do? What did Molly and her friends do? And number 15, what did Grandpa do? Number 21, what did Harry want? What did Harry want? Good. All right. We're going to keep going at the bottom of this page, page 65. Let's read. Charlie didn't play the guitar. Now you notice, of course, you know this is a negative sentence. So that means you're not going to write ED on the verb. You're going to write didn't play. Okay? Number two, at the top, Molly and her friends didn't listen to music. Mrs. with a dot, Jones, didn't cook party food. Maybe she bought pizza. That's always a good party food, too. Grandpa didn't laugh a lot. Mrs. Jones didn't watch TV. And Harry didn't want a drink. So let's ask some questions. Uh, who's number two? Number two, what didn't Mrs. Jones do? What didn't Mrs. Jones do? And number 30, what didn't Harry want? What didn't Harry want? Number one, I forget who number one, oh, I know who number one is. Oh, naughty kid. Number one, T Kenny. Number one, what didn't Mr. Jones want to do? What didn't Mr. Jones want to do? Now, 
I know you're going to say watched TV, but that's not right because I said want to. So after you write want to, do not write the ED. So what didn't Mr. Jones want to do? Mr. Jones didn't want to and write the answer. But remember, after two, don't write the ED. Okay, good. All right, um, let's turn the page and go to page, I don't know, 66. All right, 66. We have Charlie's diary. What is a diary? A diary is a book that somebody writes every day. So on Monday in my diary, I write, uh, I uh, ate pizza, I talked to my friends. Today was a very hot day. I didn't go to the park. Sometimes you write what you did that day, what you didn't do. Maybe you can write secrets. Some people don't want you to read his or her diary. Maybe Iris has a diary and she writes a diary about all the boys she hates or all the girls she thinks are crazy. Now, that is her diary. You shouldn't read her diary. Sometimes if we write a diary, later we can read them and think, wow, I forgot I went to the park that day, or wow, a long time ago I didn't like that girl, but now she's my good friend. So diaries are interesting. In this page, on this page, they look at Charlie's diary. Maybe he has secrets about girls. Complete, that means to finish. Look at the book, Complete Charlie's Diary using the past simple affirmative and negative of the verbs in brackets. Another way to say bracket is parentheses, parentheses, brackets, parentheses. In American English, we normally say parentheses, 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 parentheses. Okay, look at Sunday, 11th of May. Harry and I washed dad's car. Do you notice dad is a capital D because he didn't say mine? Harry and I washed dad's car. Well, I started to wash it, but Harry didn't want to finish it. So we watched a film, but we didn't like it much. All right, let's go back and read that again, look at it again. If you haven't written it and I went too fast, you can stop the video. Let's look at it again. Harry and I washed dad's car, period. Then he writes, well, he, the reason he writes well, it means, well, that's a little bit not true. Well, not really. Well, I started to wash it, so he didn't finish. Well, I started to wash it, but Harry didn't want, didn't want, no ED, to finish it, comma. So we watched a film. What is a film? In American English, we will say movie, M-O-V-I-E. Film means movie. They're the same thing, okay? So, we watched a movie, comma, but we didn't like it much. That much means very much. We didn't like it very much. We didn't like it much. Both are okay. So, they watched a movie. They probably finished the movie, but they didn't finish washing the car. They didn't finish washing the car. Did you hear I said ING? So let's ask the question. Number 19. Did they finish washing the car? Did they finish washing the car? Number 23. What did they watch? What did they watch? I don't want you to write, I don't want you to write film. 
I want you to use the American word for film. Now, if I say film in English, in America we understand it too. But we usually say movie. So, for you, the question is, what did they watch? Okay? For number 11, whoever you are, number 11, hmm, who didn't want to finish washing the car? Who didn't want to finish washing the car? Okay, good. All right, look at <clears throat> Monday, 12th May. We don't have time to finish this, but I want you to write it and next video for tomorrow, we will read it. If you have not finished writing Monday, 12th May, the diary for Charlie on page 66, I want you to do it now if you haven't done it. I think you probably finished it. So finish that grammar, friends, and tomorrow we will talk about it. There are some words here that are difficult. Ancient Egypt. Egypt is a country in Africa. They had the pyramids. Remember the pyramids? Those triangle buildings, really tall. So a pyramid is a tall building in Egypt. The Nile River is in Egypt. You guys know Egypt. Ancient means a long time ago. Egypt is still a country today. But we're not talking about today. We're talking about ancient Egypt long time ago, thousands of years ago, okay? So, people from Egypt are called Egyptians. Egyptians. All right. So, all of that's good, and we'll look at it tomorrow. Thanks, kids. Bye-bye.